Well, guys, the university claims that the outlandish claims made in Sports Illustrated are simply not true. An independent investigator spoke with 100 people, reviewed 50,000 emails, and only found three possible violations. Look out, he's got great speed. A storied rise to the top of the college football world. Sports Illustrated claimed Oklahoma State got there by playing a dirty game. My report indicates that that was not substantiated or corroborated in any way. Chuck Smirt looked into each and every one of the magazine's claims in a joint investigation with the NCAA. The majority of the contentions in SI were unfounded. He says a few people SI used as sources refused to talk to him. But most did not back up the magazine's claims. In his probe, he did find problems with the school's drug testing procedures. That on a few occasions, the policy was not followed the way it should have been. The only problem Smirt discovered with the Orange Pride was the cheer group was organized under the football office instead of admissions. There was no information reported that any of the Orange Pride members had any type of sexual relations or activities with with any prospects. The school's failure to monitor the drug and Orange Pride programs, Smirt says, was also a problem. And the school says that those alleged violations will be looked at, but they're a far cry from what was said in that Sports Illustrated article. So will legal action be taken by the school against SI? We'll have that answer for you coming up tonight at 6. For now, reporting live in Stillwater, Kim Passoff, KOCO 5 News. Okay, Kim, thank you very much. Now, here's what Sports Illustrated has to say, writing us that it firmly stands behind its comprehensive series on the Oklahoma State program. The investigation was limited in scope, but nonetheless revealed multiple NCAA violations, including failure to monitor. Nowhere does the report say our work is fundamentally unfounded, and in fact, it points to its own limitations in its ability to confirm SI's findings. And we just got this statement from OSU head coach Mike Gundy. It says, while I am pleased but not surprised the claims in Sports Illustrated were fundamentally unfounded, we continue to work with the Athletics Administration to ensure a clear understanding and application of our policies. Now, our coverage of this story continues at 6, as Kim said, but to read more on OSU's findings, you can head to our website, koco.com, or your mobile device.